Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us consider one example. We have 3x multiplied by 5y plus 2. We can clearly see that 3x is a monomial and 5y plus 2 is a binomial. So, to multiply these two, first step is to multiply 3x with 5y. And then, we will use a positive sign since it is in the bracket. And second step would be to multiply 3x with 2. So we have used the distributive property to multiply a monomial by a binomial. Now we have two monomials in each bracket and it is very easy to multiply them. It comes out to be 15xy plus 6x. Consider the example 5 first part. We have x multiplied by x minus 3 plus 2. Clearly x is a monomial and x minus 3 is a binomial. Then we will have to add, add 2 to it and we will get an algebraic expression in which we will substitute x equal to 1. Let us start by solving the question. We will multiply x with x and then x with 3. x multiply by x minus, since it is in the bracket, x multiply by 3 plus 2. This gives us x square minus 3x plus 2. Now we will substitute x equal to 1 in this expression. So let us substitute the value of x is equal to 1 in our algebraic expression x square minus 3x plus 2. We will get 1 whole square minus 3x plus 2 which gives us 1 minus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Let us start with example 5 second part. Just analyze this question. We have a monomial 3y which is to be multiplied by 2y minus 7. That's a binomial. Then again we have minus 3 a monomial to be multiplied by y minus 4. And then we have to subtract 63 from it. We will get an algebraic expression in terms of y. And finally, we will have to substitute y is equal to minus 2 to get a numerical value. We start with 3y into 2y. This gives us 6y square. Then the minus sign. Next step is 3y multiply by 7. That would be 21y. 
minus 3 multiplied by y 3y minus 3 into minus 4 is plus 12 and minus 63 as it is. Now we have to find the value of this algebraic expression for y is equal to minus 2. So, so we will substitute y is equal to minus 2 in this expression but here we can also notice two like terms. So it would be easier for us to solve the question if we first solve these two like terms and get an easy expression as 6y square minus 24y minus 51. And now substitute y is equal to minus 2 will give us 6 into minus 2 whole square minus 24 into minus 2 minus 51. This will give us 24 plus 48 minus 51 which is equal to 21 and this is the required answer. Please read example 6 part 1. We have to add 5n multiply by 3 minus m and 6m square minus 13m. But here we can see that the first expression has a multiple of a monomial with a binomial. Well, the second expression is a simple expression of addition subtraction. So, let us solve the first expression 5m multiplied by 3 minus m will give us 15m minus 5m square. Now we have to add 15m minus 5m square with 6m square minus 13m and we can see the like terms as 6m square and minus 5m square minus 13m and 15m. Now collecting the like terms together we will get on solving this plus 2m plus m square which is the required answer that is m square plus 2m is the sum of two algebraic expressions please see question 6 part 2 we have to add 4y multiply by 3y square plus 5 by minus 7 and 2 into y cube minus 4y square plus 5 since both the expressions need to be simplified so let us start by simplifying the expressions. Let us start with simplifying the first expression. You will get 4y multiplied by 3y square plus 4y multiplied by 5y plus 4y multiplied by minus 7 which gives us 12y cube plus 20y square minus 28y. Let us start with solving the second expression. We will get 2y cube minus 8y square plus 10. Now it remains to add the two simplified expressions by putting like terms together. On putting the like terms together, we get the expression as these. Now let's solve it. We get plus 10 minus 28y plus 
12 by square and 14 by cube and this is the required answer consider example 7 we have to subtract 3pq into p minus q from 2pq into p plus q it is clearly visible that both the expressions need to be simplified before performing the subtraction we can start with solving the second expression first as we have to subtract the first expression from the second one so on solving this first let's multiply 2pq into p this will give us 2 p square q then the plus sign and we will have 2 p q square now let us solve the second expression this will give us 3 p square q minus 3 p q square to subtract 3 p square q minus 3 p q square from 2 p square q plus 2 p q square we will have to change the signs of the second expression so let's do it on putting the like terms together we get this expression and let's solve it we will get plus 5 q square minus p square q and this is the required answer.